That is, of course, two M. My good buddy Mike, check it out the Ducati 959 Corsair Edition. You guys know who that is. That's Jared Kimpizi. Okay. Yeah, what's up, man? We got R1 Kelly right there. What's up, everybody? Always wearing his shades, even inside and outside. <laughs> you know? And of course, we got our good friends here. Tony, what's up, Tony? From Ducati, New York City. Good to see you, welcome, man. Welcome. Thank you. We got five up. Shake and bacon. What's up, buddy? And uh, enough of this ugly mug. We got Christina. We got teens right there. In the flesh. Yeah, that is all about you. Wow. It's certainly all about her. So, five up. No, yeah, please, five up. I want to get your immediate reaction to the Ducati V4 live on YouTube. Hey, hey, what's up, man? It's awesome, my good buddy. Good man, how are you? Eddie? Cool. Andrew, okay, cool, man. All right, let's go check it out. Let's see this bike for the, f oh, I see it on the pedestal already. And of course, we got, no, don't you try to hide. Don't you try to hide clutch first. What's up, man? Not much. Yo, I came out here. Look at this guy, Swagger Jackie. He heard I was wearing camo. <laughs> and, uh, he You're just, twins. Just, yeah, so. That's my brother. I call yeah. Thank you. Awesome. But look, there it is. The Ducati V4 Speciale. And of course, Steve instantly starts checking out all the parts on it. He's going to tell us about the stuff. What do you, what do you see, Steve? Uh, I'm just looking at the exhaust right now, the full Acura system, and uh, just checking out the placement of the exhaust ports and everything. So you notice right here, the 1299-1199, it was very tight here because all the pipes were bundled up right here. Mm -hmm. Now there's a big chunk of space that's wide open with the exhaust exit down here. I see that. Is that so, a good thing, Steve? No, I, I don't know. It's just uh, there's so much carbon fiber in the way to uh, see the actual placement. I mean, uh, the Ducati uh, 1299 exhaust is really bundled, goes a lot of different directions and stuff, and this is all new to me. So, so just... I'll give you guys a little quick little heads up because I was speaking with Marcus a little bit earlier. Remember we had that coil in the back we were talking about yeah, with the yeah. heat? Mm -hmm. Now that it's not there anymore, it's been toned down quite a bit, so with the heat, yeah, so it's a lot better. Yeah, that coil actually right all the yeah. way up yes, here. Yes, that's awesome. So it's awesome. all the way at the bottom now, so. See, so in theory, this should be a cooler, it should be cooler than the uh, 1299s, 1199s. Yeah. And we have a lot more heat extraction from the cooling system out here, too, mm -hmm. away from the rider. Flash. The guy said that they'll be in stock in February, not May. Well, the, st the stock ones, the uh, regular version and the S will be here in February. The Specialities don't get here until May. So, yeah. Mike, what is your immediate reaction of this motorcycle? It's gorgeous. Mm -hmm. um, I haven't got a chance. Steve's been hogging, letting us look at the lighted area. But, <laughs> right. But, uh, hey, hey. No, it is a gorgeous bike. It certainly is. My first impressions, this is absolutely beautiful, outstanding motorcycle. I'm going to see if my good buddy Tony can, uh, if he has a key where he can show us the gauges. That would be outstanding for, uh, for a YouTube video to see those gauges. It would even be super cool if this bike has been prepped. I'm not sure if it has or has not. If they can get us to start this thing up. But let's check out while those guys are marveling at the motorcycle. Let's look at the beautiful dealership here. Ducati, New York City. They just went through a renovation of this dealership. And I must say, <laughs> it is quite nice. Befitting that of the Manhattan surroundings that it's in. Great dealership. Say hello, Jarrett. Good morning, Lord Mac. Hey, thank you guys for tuning in. 222 people are here. That's most. That's outstanding. But doesn't this dealership look real nice? We got these awesome floors. And we are in Manhattan, New York. Solly, good evening from South Africa. I love South Africa. Hope to visit there one day. All right. And of course, I'm wearing my outstanding Alpine Stars hat and Alpine Star shirt. Beautiful, beautiful stuff here. Good morning from Planet Houston. Hello from Israel. Hello there. And Ian loves living in Brooklyn. Uh, I, I see how you could, you could miss that. Teens, what do you think? It's great. It's great, yeah? Uh, yeah, it's good. It's good. Yeah. I'm not a fan of some of the lines and the colors, but mm -hmm. I like it. Yeah. Yeah. What do you think? Do you I like love it? it. I haven't really examined it too much yet. I'm letting Steve do all that for me. But I, 
He is. Steve, what else have you noticed? All new. Uh, so we don't have a shock coming laterally with a, a, a knee length right here. Uh, so it's almost conventional placement of the shock. So you know on your 1199 R, when you put your legs down to come to a stop sign, the, the shock, especially for people who are shorter, uh, no pun intended, clutch first. Uh, yeah. Anyways, uh, uh, that it dig digs into your leg. It's a very yeah. uncomfortable position, unless your feet are up on the deck. So uh, this looks way more slender and just more, you know, more usable. You know, more usable. Wow. Yeah. Details. Details, details. Can you film this team for yeah. one second? I gotta go ask the Tony. Alright, teams took over wow. Eve's <laughs> YouTube channel. Oh, we're gonna photo bomb the shit out of that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I love that tail section. Nice ass, right? Oh, beautiful ass. So, Hi, Sean. Yeah, I thought that was, uh, that's hot. I like that lip on the back there. And this bike is going to be available with the uh, Forge Magnesium Gold Wheels, too. That's that going to be the getting? option. I'm going to do the best I can to get the Magnesium. So I, I think it makes it pop. You know, my Anna Pissario has the Gold Wheels, and I think this bike needs the Magnesium. I think so, too. I'm, I'm definitely getting the Magnesium on mine. And then my good buddy Brock is going to give me a set of BST carbon fiber wheels as well. So that's going to be outstanding. I think I might put uh, racing slicks on the mag wheels and then road tires on the carbon fiber wheels. And I can just simply switch the wheels off when I track this motorcycle. And I'm definitely going to track mine. Mine is going to hit the track. Are you going to track yours too, Steve? Yes. You see, this is a uh, uh, all new so tire size. Yeah, it's a 64. It's a 60 series. Yeah. So that's a whole tire. Yeah. Yeah. How much are these retailing? Someone asked. Thirty-nine thousand for the special. For the special. And then an additional three thousand for the mag wheels. Wow. Lots of. Uh, over here. It's very rare that we get all three of us with somebody else filming. So here we are. This so is Jared Kempeezy. Kempeezy! <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. So I actually just told my YouTube channel, though they haven't seen the video yet, but I actually <coughs> put a deposit down on a Speciale. And then, yeah, Teens is smacking her head like, here we go. 650 talk to do it. So of course. all three of us now have deposits on Speciale. Honestly, I'm not sure if I'm for sure going to buy it, but I at least he want is. the option. Yeah. I'm going to make sure that Jerry gets the spike. He's I have he's to hand so much Stop being new, a tailor. He's, help, he's helped me out so much with my new bike build series. Yeah. I'm going to make sure. That he gets this bike. Yeah. So just leave it at that. <laughs> and Stevie Five Up is also yeah. going to get one. So I'm getting the first one. No, I'm getting I, the first one. No, I'm getting the first one. I'm no, getting I put one. the deposit down first. Put your dukes up live on YouTube. I want an even number. <laughs> I'm only taking an even number. Now, well, all three of us, Are the three see? amigos, will have this bike. So. Oh yeah. So see, this is this isn't numbered. This is not just numbered? a prototype. Yeah. yeah. So I don't want this stinky right. bike. It's not going <laughs> That's why I don't think these are the actual. Um, Thank you, Tina. Yeah. I'll relieve you of your filming duties. I don't mind. No, that's she's okay. Used to, she's, used she's used to it, right? Yeah. You're used to the slave labor that Jared puts you through, huh? Okay. Yeah. Two hundred. Nice. Oh uh, yeah. 200. Lots of hours, low pay. Yeah. 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 It feels nice. It Tough job. Awesome. What do you guys think of it? I like it. I, I love the gun screen. I know. Does it run? No, it does not run. They don't have the key to the bike, and it most likely has not been prepped. So nope, Max Wrist. Somebody thinks that Steve is Max Wrist. <laughs> He's not Max Wrist. It's secret, it's secret right. Max Wrist. My pseudo profile is not Max Wrist, it's yeah. something else. Oh, there's Max Wrist. Look, Max Wrist typed in here. Is he in there? Yeah, he types uh, bitch ass exhaust. <laughs> Thanks, Thanks, Max Reese. Hey, ask them what they think of that exhaust being cockeyed. Yeah, yeah, the exhaust. So you see how one side's, yeah, one kind side's of up out. here and the other side's underneath. Yeah. Like, I think that, honestly, I think that looks a little bit like... I didn't even know that was an exhaust. Did you know that, Steve? Yeah. yeah. Oh, that's pretty, I wish that's was, pretty sweet. I wish it had a little more, I don't know. Like, like more presence. Italian. Yeah, a little yeah. more presence. Yeah, more Just Italian. this side, Just that side. Yeah. 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 I like it. <laughs> I like it. I never uh, even knew that. So I like it better than coming out the tail, though. Honestly. Yeah, I agree. And yeah. all that, like the Desmo Sedici. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Well, yeah. thanks for tuning in, Max Wrist. Yeah, thanks for commenting on the live stream. So obviously, Steve is not Max Wrist, since Max Wrist is actually commenting right now. So we can dispel that rumor. 
R1 Kelly is also not Max Wrist. He doesn't have the writing skill Listen, to back up that claim. I would destroy Max Wrist on the, on the track. Oh, boy. On the track. Not doing willies, but on the track. He wouldn't stand a chance. Wow. We you might have to this. see about that. You know this. Mike, how's that bike feel? He doesn't like the, I like it. the rear I, for step. Some, for some reason, I don't. I want the, the leg position to be just a little bit higher, which could be fixed with rear sets. Um, but that's just my personal taste. Right. Yes, this is this is in fact the V4 that Mike is on right now. That's the Pentagalli V4, and the one behind me is the Pentagalli Speciali V4 right here. Well, it's not even. This this doesn't have a Pentagalli on it. V4. Did you yeah, ask so this Jared, what he didn't like about this bike? Prototype. Jared, what don't you like about this bike? Oh, so so Here Ducati's now using something called a front frame on their uh -huh. bikes. That's this silver part. If you look on the side, Jared. I like it. So I like the frame, and I think it's going to make the bike feel a lot better and safer, if, if you will. But um, the fact that they left this sticking out and left it silver, in my opinion, it matches nothing else on the bike. It should be black, or they should have just covered it up. So look at the red when you roll it. Or, yeah, or even magnesium. Yeah, it should look like magnesium. So look at the red bike. The first thing that you notice, come over here, you. Yep. What's the first thing you notice I on noticed that bike? The, I noticed the, the frame, frame, but I like that because it breaks up everything else. But in my opinion, if you, if you make a super bike that costs twenty-two thousand dollars, right. the first thing you notice shouldn't be the frame. You know, <laughs> okay, that's yeah. my opinion. Yeah. yeah. Max Rich just gave me five bucks. He says, "Go get some food. You look skinny." <laughs> look at that. Max Rich, I'm gonna teach you a lesson, you tough guy. So honestly, I might, Go I might, get some food. You look skinny. I might take my front frame off and powder coat it black or magnesium. Somebody writes for where's teens? Teens, this message is for you. It says, I dare her to get on a bikini and sit on it. <laughs> okay. Yeah. No, on, on the bike. Uh, it'd be hey, a long time. Or, or, or Jared, yeah. Right. Jared. Right. Right. Is that okay? Will that work? That's awesome. Max Riss is funny though. I didn't know he had a sense of humor. He just gave me five dollars for lunch. I guess I can where can I go in New York City for five dollars for lunch? Can, can, can I get some canned cat food? Maybe. Yeah, maybe <laughs> maybe some canned cat food. Thanks, Max Riss. <laughs> So immediately the bike is wider. Yeah, I Which I like. Yeah. Do you? Yeah. I like the slender. See, Jared, I just like the kind of this kind of Yeah. As far as we're seeing more now. Yeah. I find the current is a little too narrow for me. You can get used to it, but I like a little bit. I like things I can throw around. Nah. Hey. I know how to do white women. What? How is the seating position? Steve, they want to know how is the seating position? Um, it's no more aggressive than the 1299. I noticed immediately uh, the tank is wider. Okay. okay. It's more aggressive? He says it's no more aggressive. No, no, no more aggressive. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, I mean, the steering stabilizers in the same place. Yep. So we still have our electronic Olin steering stabilizer in the same place. Nice. A lot of the things. On these the are spike. different. Oh, these are these are demos. Uh, just probably demo stuff because they, they don't yeah. usually look like this. No, that's real. These are new ones. Oh, those are real? Yeah. Oh, nice. They're covers over the wires. Okay. Oh, okay. Cool. See how they did all that with all the wires in here? They tucked it all in. Oh. Wow. Yeah. It all runs through the frame. Into the fairing. Yeah, this is definitely bulkier up here. It's not as slender and not as crisp and sharp. Steve, uh, Mike57 says thank you for all the detailed information you're providing right now. Oh, yeah, no problem. <laughs> okay, Max Rich just sent me another $5. He says get a can of cat food for five up, too. <laughs> so uh, so uh, we're going to have we're gonna make a live stream later on today from both Steve and I eating cat food, yeah. courtesy of Mr. Max Rist. Okay, I'm going to eat some cat food, but they better put some fucking cat in it so I can beat R1 Kelly's ass. <laughs> Nice. How about uh, you're gonna give five dollars for Jared to eat some cat food too, Max Wrist? I gotta fuel these yeah, he, guns. Yeah, he's he's not as skinny as us, so yeah, he's good to go. All right. Teens is very pretty. Yes, Sean, she is. She looks even more striking in person than she does on so camera. Fixed mirrors. But we almost just walked right by her. Um, wow. Max, hey Steve. Max Wrist says. If the two of you eat a can of cat food, I'll give you a hundred dollars. <laughs> I'm not eating cat food, not even for a hundred dollars. I'm sorry, Max Riz. He he did uh, he he did a pretty good solid and uh, put a brand new tire on my H2 for me. That was nice. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. We didn't even notice. So you see that front panel with the Oh Yeah. Yo, 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 yo. Uh, uh, we got three people live right now. We're just like killing the data, the data signals. I saw you. I'm like, I'm going to follow. For your video? Okay, I was about to say, they have, they have no more data left in the, in the, the Manhattan area. All right. Um, 
All right, Eve, challenge Max for a SmackDown. Yes, me and Max Chris will definitely do a SmackDown together coming very soon. I'm not sure which bike I'm going to be on when I smack him down. Probably the Ninja H2 because he's a great rider, so I'm definitely going to have to pull out my big guns. But I might be on my Ducati V4 Speciale, seeming as though it makes 226 horsepower to the crank. And you will definitely see my bike when I pick it up from Ducati Detroit in May. We're immediately going to put it on their dyno and see what type of horsepower it makes. Uh, so someone asks, would I buy the V4 or did you buy? I already bought it, yes. So I purchased this bike right here. My good man. Where yo, yo. Yours come in? May, middle of May. So uh, if you want to see this bike uh -huh. all over the net, laying smack down, <laughs> go see this man. You'll never see it on my channel. No, you will. <laughs> when you come visit us or when I come back here to visit you, I will bring it and you can ride it, Mike. Hey, I'm going to... You guys heard it first. He yes. said, I am going to ride his V4. Yes, so he is. You can't go back. No, I won't. I never do. I never do. You can ride any of my bikes. You just tell me what bikes you want me to bring or when you come up to Filthy Cleveland, you have your pick of the litter. Because that's my good buddy Mike Clutch first. Go to his channel, check it out. He makes outstanding videos. He's going to take us to dinner. He's going to take us to lunch. No cat food for lunch, Mike. You know, he's going to. When I mean take us lunch, I don't mean you're going to pay for it. You're going to take us somewhere and we're going to buy lunch, okay? <laughs> okay. Uh, later, Max Riss. Thanks for tuning in, buddy. Really appreciate it. I'll talk to you soon. I'll give you a call when this, uh, when this live stream is over, man. All right. Lots of people tuned in right now. Thank you so much. 236 people. That's kind of like uh, the most I've ever had. So I'm going to try to answer some questions right now. Solly asks, are, am I selling the 1199 Pinagali R that I own? And no, I am not. My good friends at Ducati Detroit are doing some work to it right now. Um, and uh, that work should be completed here in the spring. And I'm going to make an outstanding video of me picking up my uh, 1199R and my V4 Speciale at the same time. So that's going to be great. This was this bike. Just not so that we, long ago. Oh wow! That's so we that, put that's the, the Termi, I mean the Acro, on Thursday morning. Uh huh. So each pipe is connected to one um, head, to oh, one wow. cylinder. Are you showing the exhaust? Yeah. So they are not connected whatsoever. So nice. one is from one to the other. So that's how it, you get that crazy, that crazy increase of power yes. from the regular version yes. to the speciality. Yes. Basically, ten horsepower, right, Steve? Yeah. From two fourteen to two twelve. Yeah. 12. So 12 horsepower, that's outstanding. So basically, can you explain, Steve, to our audience what he just told you about the well, exhaust? We're remo he's removing the up valve, right? So the up valve, that uh, or butterfly valve or whatever, so that removes restriction. And they're separating all the exhaust, and I'm assuming it's all equal length at that point. That's why there's two different exits at different yes. stages. Of yeah, so the bike, if you so. see, they cross over. Mm -hmm. So they're not connected whatsoever. Correct. So one comes so over the other one. But one pipe. So this. One, one pipe is pumping both of your yes. cylinders. So that, that's another thing. So there's still only two pipes for the V4. So the Aprilia has two small pipes. One coming off of each exhaust port, right? Yes. This. See how wide it is right there? It, the so it's literally got eight exhaust valves feeding out the one pipe. That's outstanding. And yes, this is the Ducati V4 Speciality that we're standing so, next to. This is uh, another look on the left side. Oh, that's beautiful. Yeah. Also on the right side. Wow. You can see it. <laughs> yes. How all the system works. That is outstanding, man. Thank yeah. you for showing us that. Yeah, sure, man. That was awesome for you to take pictures of that, man. That was, yeah. that was awesome. So, what, the bike comes with a stock exhaust, right? Yes. Just a regular exhaust? Yes, and then you have to convert how does it. How does the stock exhaust look? Is it just like, it looks like the uh, one on the other? the same one. Same okay. as that. Same one. Yeah. Yeah. Fairings, yeah. but now you can actually squeeze the gas tank. This is only half so, the Speciality comes with this stock exhaust. This one right there. Oh, so this one. And of course, I am not going to have that exhaust installed on my motorcycle. Yes, teens. I'm checking you out too. Outstanding. Uh, I'm not going to have that installed on my motorcycle. Rather, I'm going to have this one installed too. <laughs> Check that channel out, young man. Awesome. Awesome.
Did you hear that, Eve? Yeah. Uh, so the the actual production speciality is going to come with the uh, CNC rear sets, and it's going to come with the kind of performance levers and the lever guards. Oh wow. So it is, and the seat is absolutely beautiful too. Yeah. So we're talking about the added accessories that this bike is going to have to uh, follow with its price tag of the exclusivity of not only the number plating of the bike, the color scheme, but the added performance and the added parts that uh, give it one hell of a package that yes. makes this uh, the most horsepower leader bike, even though it's 1100, don't shoot the messenger, the, you know, 1100, it's going to be the most powerful NA production super bike. Right now, currently, that's a, uh, you know, uh, anybody can buy one. Someone you know. is asking if it has a passenger seat, Steve. No. It does not? No, especially does not. Okay. Uh, the S has uh, uh, passenger availability. Goes on. Yeah. So, you're going to have the full flex right here. You remove this part, and actually the, the seat cowl the turns seat into a seat, is right? It's going to be actually yeah, mounted on top, so top of the subframe. So, you're on top of the subframe. You're on top of the subframe. Wow. Amazing. Will this arrive in May or next May? This May. Uh, my speciality arrives in May of 2018. And then these. <laughs> <laughs> no, thank you so much. I thought that was Steve. I was about to sucker punch him. When I saw when, you, I was I like, like yeah, that, I, I was really about to sucker punch him because he does that to me all the time. <laughs> it's always a half half, never nothing but. Yeah, that's awesome. The speciality does come with the Acapulco exhaust. It's right here. It's this amazing exhaust that Steve just got uh, through explaining it to us. Um, there is exhaust canisters on each side and they're in different positions. So this is the right hand side of the motorcycle. This is the Acrapovic exhaust from the right hand side. <laughs> yeah, I'm having a ball. And on the, on the left hand side it exits in a totally different way. <laughs> so if you go over to the left. <laughs> yeah. Right there. That's how it looks. No, it's not. You're going to ride the damn thing, Mike. You're going to ride it, so stop saying that. You were supposed to come to Filthy Cleveland last year. You refused. I know we got corn husks and cows and pigs all over the place, but you can still bring your ass and visit us. All right? Do I have to abduct you and bring you there myself? I will. Yeah, it's too much. So as you can see, everybody's having a great time here at Ducati, New York City. 311 people are tuned in right now. That is awesome. That is my record. So I'm going to go ahead and answer some... Oh, that's cool. Look at these guys together. That's awesome. Steve's a horrible photographer, by the way. I can't see through it at all. Uh, yes, the 959 Corsair is also here. It's at the front of the building. And uh, I can show you that too. Mike, so Mike, are you thinking about getting this bike, man? What are you doing like over here? He likes it. Here's the Corsa 959, beautiful motorcycle. The paint scheme sort of reminds me of the Super Leger uh, paint scheme. I got to ride this bike courtesy of my good buddies Ducati Detroit on the track at Mid Ohio Raceway, and I loved it. It had the perfect amount of power, size, and balance for a track bike. I rode this at the track, Mike. It's awesome. So, Oh yeah? What do you think? You like the paint scheme on this? I love it. It reminds me of the Super Legera, right? Yeah. Totally outstanding. Surprised nobody gave me a hard time about my shirt. I don't even have a Ducati shirt. Yeah, you, so are, let's wearing, see. you are wearing a road dress. It's just being polite. <laughs> there is a final edition in the window out here. It's a beautiful day. It's warm. What do you all think of the final edition? Do you like it more than the Speciale? Andrew types, he can't wait to see this up against the, S, the next s 1000 R when it's all new in 2019. I think that's going to be an awesome matchup as well. It's a beautiful doggy. Oh, huh? Bob. Bob? Hey, Bob. Slow down for your owner. <laughs> yeah. So here, you can see we're in uh, Manhattan here. The weather is great feels like it's darn near 60 degrees it's definitely the type of day that you could have ridden your bike out here we got these bikes lined up we just took the subway for the very first time well 
Actually, it wasn't my first time taking a subway. It was my first time taking a subway without the assistance of a New Yorker. So, uh, five up, um, two M and myself, I'm gonna use their real names. Steve, Mike, and myself jumped on the subway from, uh, where did we come from? From the Javits Center. And uh, we rode here to uh, Ducati, New York. Am I going to buy the new S1000 RR in 2019? Probably yes. Yeah, I'm definitely looking forward to that. Um, Bob is gorgeous too. <laughs> yeah, the dog was a handsome dog for sure. All right, let's see. Let's go back in here for a moment. You know, I, I like that. Yes, Mike 57, I already put my deposit on the Ducati V4. Um, I put it on there the day that it was announced that it was going to be sold here. So uh, mine arrives in May. So I'm definitely looking forward to it. When did the 2019 S1000 come out? It's not out yet, uh, but we all know that it's going to be 100% new. The 2018 S1000s are out. I just bought one. Um, it's on my YouTube channel, and I'm actually giving it away on uh, season two of my new bike build series. So go to my YouTube channel, um, and you can support the new bike build series and possibly win that motorcycle. Anyone viewing this video has the opportunity to win it. So uh, The price on this one, on the S... 27, 28. 27? Yeah. Okay. 27 or 28, I think. Okay. And then uh, the price the on the Speciale? The base is 21, nine. This okay. one's 39.9. Nine. So 39.9 for the Speciale. The base V4 is 21. 21. And then, and then the S or 27. is 27. Cool. Hey, oh, no problem, man. Got lots of people interested in this bike. It's a great turnout. People taking pictures. We got teens. And Jared Campisi, they came all the way up. They're going to be hanging out, hanging out with us for the rest of the day. You get to see some behind the scenes as Jared takes pictures of his lovely yeah. Christina for the, for, for the thumbnail. Behind the scenes, guys. This is what goes in the YouTube video. Yep. And, uh, I, I show them. <laughs> oh, that's awesome, man. This is how we get good photos. So that might be your thumbnail, eh? Yeah, something like this. This is how we choose our thumbnail. Look at that. Wow. Oh, no, no, you're, no, you're good. You're good. It. You made it better, man. Yeah. Are we good? Yeah, we're good. Awesome. Are you doing any photos? Um, any photos? Yeah, I might stand over there and take a Look photo. Look at you being nice, donating your time to your subscribers. That's what I always do. What a stand-up guy. <laughs> yeah, I mean, a lot of those folks can't be here with us right now, so this yeah. is a way for them to uh, share the experience. That's a poor excuse. I came all the way from Brazil. So just to hey, wow, hey, he uh, came from Brazil. Yeah, wow. just being your feet, guys. I'm that's, that's awesome. Thank you, man. <laughs> that is awesome. Did I buy the Speciale or the base model? I think uh, my subscribers can answer that question for you. Uh, yes, I bought the Speciale. Where do I find that question went by too quick? Oh, let's see. Where can you find a nice S1000 double R used? You should hand that to Jared so I think he'll just be in front of him. Okay, perfect. Yeah. Let's do a video for you. Eve, uh, Christine's gonna take some pictures of Eve in front of the special, in front of the special, dude. What? No, no, move back over so you can see the bike. Yeah. There you go. Eve's too big. Look at him. He just takes up the whole damn bike. Quit being so. Hey, I'm gonna smack you down on my speciale. You probably will. Cause you're too big. Dude, this. Yes. Hey, this picture quality is really good. Isn't it good? Yeah. No. Thank you, teams. Isn't it great? Yeah. Thanks, sure. Jared. Looks really good. That's courtesy of the uh, Samsung Galaxy S8. S8? Yeah. You're welcome, Damien. Damien says, thank you for doing this. Thank you. Uh, somebody writes, Philippe writes, uh, get Jojo and Baron von Grumble to bring you to Wales on your trip to the UK for some great twisty roads. I will definitely try to do that. Motovlogger 404 types, Get on the bike, yeah, I will. Hey, Jared, yeah. I've been ordered to get on the bike. I've been ordered to get on the bike. Wow, I should have done this, because it does hey, feel good. Hey, doesn't it? It feels better than my 1199. Yes. More comfortable, for sure. Yep, you look good on it. Yeah, they changed this too, man. This is it's it's thicker. You want to get on the back? <laughs> no, don't do that. There's no back seat. 
You look good on these. Mirrors are great. They changed the mirrors, so they're now. Yep. You can tell, Jared, they're not going to vibrate as much. Yep. By just the way that they place them. Do they? They're connected in it. They do might they, fold in. I think they do, but I don't want to try. I'll try. Don't break it, Eve. Uh, All right, I'm not going to yeah. try. <laughs> but the gauges, man, you can tell they're bigger. Yeah. You can yeah. definitely tell it's bigger. I thought it was actually going to be even bigger than that, but yeah, I think it looks good. Steve Thorson. Steve Thorson says hi, Jared. What up, Steve? Yes, 650 Eve, uh, 650E, myself and uh, Steve from Five Up, we all pre-ordered the Speciale. Text with that on your phone? Yeah. Do some cool shots of it? Yeah. yeah. Like cinematic. Yeah. What do you think, Eve? I love it. It That's looks good on you, man. Yeah, thank you. Yeah. I love this thing. It feels good. I'm so excited to get mine in May, man. I just I can barely contain myself. I know. I want to ride this damn thing, dude. We should take him out west, Jerry. I'm, I'm down. Sucks in May. We should go out west. Hey, you're up to 300 people right now. Nice. Mm -hmm. That's all. It was up to 320 a minute ago. Oh, okay, nice. So yeah. I pre-ordered a Speciale. Yes, I did. Um, I will be selling my GSXR 600. Thank you. <laughs> oh yeah, dude. Look at that tuck. That's his SmackDown position right there. Yep. Knees and then as close to the tape as possible. Elbows, elbows in, in, tucked in, and then Jarrett goes right by him. <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna do some track riding with our speciales. Yes. I'm gonna wreck the shit out of mine. No, you better not. <laughs> Thank you, man. You better not. I'm gonna make sure he doesn't wreck. That's no, awesome. I'm not. I'm not gonna wreck. It. Um, we 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 can't start the bikes up because we don't have the keys. We can't even see the awesome uh, instrument cluster on them because they took the keys away. But yeah, again, this is my speciality that I ordered. This is not my particular bike, but I ordered one just like this from my good friends at Ducati Detroit. And it's uh, scheduled to arrive sometime here in May of 2018. Stock tires for the speciality, they are Super Courses. Super Courses, brand new SPs, They're and they are models. 20560 series Look at tires. How bad they are. Yeah, so I'll show you this. 200. I'm sorry, 260 yeah, ZR17 tires. Marchesini, forged aluminum rims. Yep. Look at that thing. May 2018. So this coming up May, that's when this bike will be here. May of 2018. They're already building them. They're going through the line right now. So does this panel come with the uh, Acropovic exhaust? Yeah. Yeah. What's up with this? That's the, uh, the drain uh, valve for the... Uh, the cooler? Over, yeah. For the sure? Because I don't see any... Nothing draining out of there? No. That's typically usually where it is. Man, this looks so good. Yeah. So how do you take these fairings off? I have no idea, but I'm sure Steve knows. Oh, okay. Back here. Yes, we're definitely going to do a Speciale versus an H2, for sure. Which one do you think will be better? <laughs> uh, I think the Speciale overall is going to be... Oh, I wanted to look at these headlights, see how, oh, yeah, how yeah, recessed yeah. they are. Did you get them? Wow. Yeah, they're really far back there, aren't they? About those headlights? Yeah. LEDs? A ton of recess. Are those functional air vents, Steve? Yeah, yeah, that's... Uh, you're going straight into the air box. It goes through the frame and right down the throat of the throttle bodies. Wow. Right that's the Ram Air. Wow. Yes, we're going to do a smackdown of the Aprilia RSV4 versus the Ducati Special. Oh, I see. <laughs> the death stare. Yeah. She's trying to get me to move again because she do not ever want to take a picture of me. I'm sorry. <laughs> hey, Steve. Steve Thorson says hi. Hey, what's going on, Steve? Steve. Steve and Steve. Oh, boy. Don't do that. He gets happy. He gets no, happy I just to smile. I know. Yeah. I, I would like to smile as much as you do, Mr. 650. I know. He's always, <laughs> he's always smiling, man. He, oh, boy. He, 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 thank oh, you. Yeah. Hey, well, he brushes his teeth 13 times a day. We stop in the middle of the highway just I so do. he can brush his teeth. I really do. Is that what you do? <laughs> yeah, I do. Yeah. I've got toothpaste in my backpack right no. now. Yeah. It's, yeah. A, it's annoying as hell. Oh, God. I might brush my teeth right now on camera if, if people ask me to. If you guys want to see they, me brush my teeth on this live stream, I'll... I floss one time, one today in the morning, but I brush at least four times a day. Wow. Yeah. Andrew types, thanks for the live video. You're very welcome. That V4 is going to be a serious, yes, it's going to be a serious bike. Track days, the straight line stuff is boring. Yes, it can get boring. Hey there, Snowcat. 
Snowcat is on. You guys say hi to Snowcat. What up, Elliot? Yeah, yeah, yeah. How's it going, man? Yeah, that's awesome. Checking it out? Is Snowcat against all these Ducatis? Oh yeah, he's <laughs> he's only here to hate, I guarantee you. <laughs> <laughs> no, I think I think that uh, Snowcat likes Ducatis now. He may have had some issues with the, his bikes in the past, but that stupid hyper. Yeah, you know. I need to get. Oh no no! Look look what he typed. <laughs> Fucati. <laughs> yeah, Snowcat types Fucati. Okay. Snowcat, but you have to admit this uh, V4 speciality that we have. Hi, buddy. But they are very, very nice looking bikes. Looking. And then Snowcat, when we hook up, we've been trying to do a dual vlog together and a meetup for a long time. Tried to hook up with Snowcat last year and my flight got canceled. Hi. So we're definitely going to hook up with him. And uh, if you come to Filthy Cleveland, Snowcat, you can ride my freaking bike. Yes. Snowcat saw the bike at the IMS motorcycle show and he likes it. So awesome. How was the bike show? Were you guys at the bike show? Yeah. Uh, it wasn't. Really? It was. A lot smaller than it was last year. Oh, they just turned. Oh, that's a customer's bike. I heard a bike start up and I got excited. Please show the exhaust. Yes, here's the exhaust. Um, it exits on uh, different different exits for both sides of the bike. So this is the right hand side, and we'll go over here to the uh, left, and you'll see that it exits towards the bottom on the left. So there we go. Beautiful bike. <laughs> All right, folks. We had a lot of fun. The SP comes with the Acura. Yes, it does, Snowcat. It comes with the Acura and the stock exhaust. So uh, when you purchase the bike, the dealer will call you up and he'll give you, ask you which exhaust do you want him to install on the motorcycle. And of course, 99.9% .9 of people are going to tell them to ex install the Acura exhaust. That's the same thing that happened with my. Um, 1199 Snowcat. It came with the stock exhaust and it came with the Termi. And I had the Termi installed and my stock exhaust has been sitting in my basement for four years now, unused. Yeah. All right, so there we go. We're going to have 30, 332 people and that's, that's a record for me. Hyper SP only came with the stock. I'm sorry to hear that, man. Oops, sorry, sorry. Yeah. Yes, you can also buy the RSV4 RF with the Superbike kit. We just saw those bikes at the bike show. Oh, to me again. And they're awesome. All right, let's see if we can find... We also... Hey, guys. How are you? Hey, hey, hey. We have uh, R1 Kelly and Laura Crafter here as well. Say hi, Laura. What's up, Laura? How do you like the uh, How do you like the bikes? They're nice. I like this one. This one's really pretty. The 959. The 959. You should sit on it, Laura. Let everyone see you sit on it. Yeah, please. No, what are you, have you sit on it? I have. Yeah, no, it's you great. Sit on it. And no, good. Of course, of course, of course. So if you guys are familiar, check out Laura Craft's Instagram page. She has a very a lot of followers. She's a track rider. I met her at the Nate Kern Double R Fest. We had a ball. She actually purchased Nate, one of Nate Kern's first S1000 double R's and she rides it at the track. She's going to be in one of my upcoming double R Fest videos and I'm still editing so definitely check that out. You'll see a lot more of her. Sweet. And she likes the Ducatis. Everybody likes the Ducatis. It's pretty much unanimous. How could you not like these awesome, awesome bikes? Hey, Larry Cooper, where's Mustang Dame? Mustang Dame never travels. He never leaves Cleveland, Ohio. Larry Cooper. Uh, peace out. Thanks, thanks, Snowcat. Thanks for stopping by, man. I'll shoot you a, um, a text, Snowcat, so we can hook up, man. But uh, Larry, uh, Mustang Dame and most of the other fast boys, they never leave Cleveland. They don't travel, so you will probably never see him on my travel videos. What happened with Trans Am Guys 73? Great question. Uh, we raced a few years ago, and then after we raced, uh, he wanted to race me again. And then uh, when I told him I was unavailable to race, he started a bunch of lies saying that I duck and dodged him and that I made him come to Cleveland and stood him up. And he never came to Cleveland uh, and things like that. So he started 
with a bunch of lies and stuff. So we basically don't talk anymore. And uh, I don't even know what the hell he's up to. I think he was a one-hit wonder. Nobody even talks about him anymore on the YouTube. Um, and it was also he was also exposed to of having nitrous on his S1000 RR when we raced. So that was pretty sad. Uh, 650, is she single? Yes, Laura Craft is single. Uh, I am not, so uh, she is not uh, with me or anything like that. She's here by herself, but uh, she's single. All right. We're just gonna look at this awesome bike some more. Why doesn't Brock's performance have an exhaust for Ducati? It's a good question. Um, am I going to buy the new Panigale? Yes, I already bought it. I bought this uh, Speciale right here, and mine is going to arrive sometime in um, May of 2018. Yes. Is this bike street legal? Yes, it is. That's the reason why I bought it. This bike, um, unlike the HP4 Race, which is not street legal, this Speciale is street legal, and it has more horsepower than the HP4 Race. This bike has 226 horsepower, and the HP4 Race has 215. Where's R1 Kelly? R1 uh, Kelly's right here. Somebody was just asking where you were. What's up, everybody? We're getting ready to watch um, 2M jump up on that uh, special out. You gonna do it? Why not? And then um, Laura Craft. Uh, no, <laughs> he's getting up next. Have you had one again? I sat on this one right here. On yeah. That one. I don't know if we can get on that one because it's on the pedestal. Yeah, so they're, they're both the same aesthetically, just different colors and exhausts and things like that. So, have you sat on this one, Kelly? And Mike? You guys got to see it. R1 Kelly, somebody types, read this message and answer it for that person live. What's it say? Yes, I'm back. Is it how, what is How's it? your back? It wasn't How's my back, back, it was actually my knee. Okay. And I'm back after two months. I'm back rolling. I mean, I'm chasing guys. Turbo 329 types. R1 Kelly was not hurt. He's a big faker. <laughs> oh boy! What is R1 riding now? He's still riding his R1M. For life. Yeah. Yes. There we go. R1M. Show him this. Yeah, I'm a Mr. Alpine star. Look, tell him this is. Oh, we're not going to show what he's wearing. Oh gosh, man! We don't want to see that. That's R1 Kelly's knee after he injured it riding a children's toy. It is not a chosen toy. <laughs> chosen toys don't cost fifteen hundred dollars. <laughs> and you guys should look up my um, website, Two Electric Ave. Come get electric transportation bike, scooters, and boards. Shameless plug number three thousand and eight, right there. <laughs> All right, so there we go. And as you can see, the two white guys are over there talked about the technical stuff while we're over here talking <laughs> mumbo jumbo. Uh, so, what are you guys talking about, Steve? Uh, we're looking at the frame again here, the uh, cylinder head covers and camshaft, uh, you know, heat covers here that are going to look great in carbon fiber. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So I was just saying we need to we need to power co powder coat our frames black, or just get magnesium. You guys are crazy. You're gonna love these frames the way that they are, man. No, I do. I like it on that one a lot more. Yeah. I think it matches a lot more. But the, the paint scheme, this line right here, is so important. That hey. line right there, you know, you have to you have to carry that line. Yeah. Yeah. Hassan types, I need to come to South Africa. I'm working on doing that, Hassan. That's one of the places I want to visit. Yep. A lot of folks are typing the typical Kempezi. I've already shouted that out here. My buddy Chris Dolan is on here. Weight with the full tank, does it come with the lithium battery? Steve, uh, Chris, Chris Dolan is asking uh, the weight of the Speciale and does it come with the lithium ion battery? They all the uh, Panigales now come with lithium ion. No. Nope. Yeah. Not the stock. He said Ooh, that the we S just got corrected. That's an S. Yeah, yeah, all the S's come with it. Oh, but not but the base model. In your face. I'm not, I'm not sure about right. that. Like, he didn't say anything about the standard model. I know. I yeah. did say all of the Panigales, but I couldn't imagine that they'd put a lot of acid because of where it's placed. So the new battery location? Yeah. Yes, this is street legal. The street legal. This is, is up here. The battery's up there now? Yeah, it's completely oh, cool. relocated. The fuel tank actually comes all the way back to here. This wow. is the fuel tank all the way back. Under the tail here. almost, right? Isn't that crazy? And, wow. So this is, I know you've never had the tank off of your 1199, mm -hmm. but when you pull the tank off, there's it's all part of the air box. It's all part of air channeling throwing down to the throttle box. Sure. It filters all the way up in here in the frame area. 
but uh, yeah, and the weight uh, isn't it uh, 440 wet? Yeah, 380 dry is what they say. 380 dry, 440 wet. Okay, okay. especially yeah. So 440 pounds acro, wet. I think it's 430 something with the acro. Okay, yeah, yeah when you I lose 10 pounds. It's somewhere there. around 430. Awesome. Hey, you gotta get yourself yes, some Yes, and I replied to him as needed. Yeah, there's 361 people watching live right now. 361, that's awesome. Well, 361, yes. Want me to get you some Patron? Is that Patron? That's water, please. Can we plug, uh, Steve, I have a question here. Can we plug the side mirrors on the Speciale? They want to know uh, if there's mirrors. black ops. Yeah, yeah, yeah there's already. Uh, yeah, this, you can see that. They're already plugged. They're already plugged. Mm -hmm. Those are by Rizoma. Wow. So, yes, the answer to your question, you can plug can those side mirrors. Please? For track use, and look how big the screen is. Lots that's of a, ways for you to tuck underneath. That is, that's a, definitely a SmackDown screen. I screen. Really like that screen. Yeah. Uh, and here's a question for Jared. Jared, is Jared an MMA fighter? An MMA fighter? Yeah. No, I don't fight at all. Okay. <laughs> he fights his way out of a paper bag sometimes. Then I'll fight you. Uh, someone is asking, is Mar uh, Turbo 329 is asking, is Marcos here? And I believe I did see Marcos. Yeah, he, he, le he left already. He left? Yeah, he left. Okay, Clutch we first says he left. Yeah, we can see him. Actually, I actually have his card for you, actually. Thank you. Charles, what's up from Florida? Hey, Charles. Thank you. Oh, Thanks, man. Yeah, yeah. Thanks, Mike. He's going to be at the show later on, so we can link up with him. Okay, yeah, we'll be, we'll be back at the show, too. we got to meet up. We're going to meet at the uh, bike show, guys. We're going to be there between, I don't know what time we're going to be there, but we will meet you at 6 o'clock at the Yamaha booth. Thank right you. over there by those beautiful Yamaha R1Ms and the R1. What do you think of the, at six guys. the, the new BST with gold? Outline. I think that's going to be beautiful. I think so. Goodbye, Moto Vlogger Floor 4. Yeah, it's going to be awesome, Steve. I think it's going to look really nice. I'm saying doing like a custom painted. Oh, custom painted? Oh, yeah. Yeah. I don't know about that, Steve. What will the top speed be of this bike, Steve? Not sure. Any number I throw out there is going to be inconclusive, so. Uh, I, I know my 1299 will pass my S1000, like it's tied to a stump at the top of six gear. So, and my S1000 you know, rev extended and whatever. So they're doing over 200, somewhere in the low, low 200s. Okay. Depending on ride or tuck, yep. yes. you know, headwind, uh, air density, um, whether the rider is uh, Caucasian or not, there's a lot to do. Whether the rider is Caucasian or not. <laughs> wow, wow, wow. Okay. Great. Darker skin there doesn't go. go it's through the air as fast. No, yeah. no, this big guy flies. Yeah. He, he's he does. All right. He does well, we got Mike over there drinking water. Look at him. I'm going to grab a water. Every time you say Mike, I'm like, which Mike? The, the swollen Mike. Oh, very <laughs> damn name. Yeah. Awesome. All right, I want to finish up this live stream, guys. Let's get everybody together. Hey, Kim Peasy, yeah. let's go over here to get everybody over here together. I'm going to yeah. finish up this live stream. We're going to go out and get some lunch. It's not going to be yes. cat food. It's going to be real food. Hey, he gave yeah. us money. For five Up gave us ten dollars for cat no, food. No, not Five Up. Max no, not Five Up. Max, Max Riss did. Yeah. Who's not Five Up? Yeah. All right. Uh, yeah. <laughs> All right, guys. So uh, let's. Uh, we're going to get out of here. Thank you guys so much for viewing the live stream. Check us out if you're going to be in the, uh, in the New York City area. We'll be at the bike show. We're going to meet at 6 o'clock at the Ducati booth. And Yamaha. then we're going to go get some... Hmm? At the Yamaha booth. Yeah, up at the Yamaha booth. Because there is no Ducati booth there. We're at the Ducati booth. Yeah. All right. Thanks for viewing. <laughs> what happened? He's busting off. short. Wow. Thanks for viewing, guys. We'll catch you guys later.